we are. Great, thanks. Why didn't you tell me Derek was back? What? Why didn't you tell me you was hanging around with my brother? I assumed if you cared, you'd have found out. Well, I have found out. Jesus, you know Derek's not well. No? No, he's sick. He always was. He's always off getting involved in someone else's fight, making a fool of himself, betraying people, going into hiding. He's an idiot and a coward. It's not my business. Whatever he stood for, he betrayed. He only left here in the first place because he was caught stealing from the Mafia. He's a pathetic wretch. Okay, I got it, so... Now, he's gonna ruin my life. If it wasn't bad enough having a bunch of crooks for brothers, now I've got him threatening to talk to a journalist about his family, about me. Well, tell him to be quiet. I am trying to become the commissioner of police. I'd be a laughing stock. A cop with a famous snitching traitor for a brother. Ugh. You know, the crooks I can handle. See, that I can spin. But not uh, this. Not this. Uh, you got the big problem then. Me? Uh-uh. We, my friend. We. You stop it. <coughs> stop? Stop. Kill your brother. He's already dead. Just put him out of his misery. Fuck you. No, fuck you, pal. I'm gonna meet him in the courtyard park off Bismarck and Lancet. Deal with him. Make him a tragedy, not a disaster. Do it, or I will put you away. Oh, don't push me. Let's do it. Nico, thank fuck you, Andy. Frankie arranged to meet me at this park on Bismarck. I think he's gonna try to kill me. Cops can kill who they like. Do you know the place? Are you close? Can you get there in time? I think I can make the meeting. You gotta take him out before he makes a move. This is Cain and Abel stuff, I'm telling you. Question is, which one of us is gonna be wandering the earth with a mark on his head, and who's gonna be six feet under, you know? This phone's running out of battery, shit! Look after me, Nico. This is as far as I can go, okay? Francis, I'm ready. What is the plan? I hope you got over yourself and are ready for some fratricide. Don't forget that I still got dirt on you. I know this ain't nice, but neither of us has a choice. It's sounding like I got no choice. One McCreary brother is going to get me to kill another. That's what I like to hear. I want you to take the window cleaning elevator on one of the buildings around back of the courtyard. Get in position and put Derek out of his misery. Shit, I better get ready to act surprised. Don't miss, Nico. You might hit me. I'll hit who I'm aiming at. Don't worry. What are you trying to do, you perp?
Derek, my brother. Frankie, what's this about? I've got to say, I'm nervous about this little meeting. Shit, when I heard you was back, I nearly shat myself. Sit down. Why didn't you call me? You could have slept on my couch. I'm doing real well for myself, real well. I'm sorry about how life turned out for you. Second here, Derek. I gotta speak to one of the sergeants. Hey, what's the problem? I thought you were gonna make something happen for me. I'm not so sure about it. What's gonna make you sure? You want me to give you a raise? That might help. All right then. Call it a bonus. Make this happen. Officer, come on, clear the area, clear the area. Derek, shit, he's my brother. I did what you wanted me to do. I killed your brother. You don't think I know that? Christ, it happened right in front of me. I could feel you looking at me through that scope. Well, it's done. You and me are over. At least Jerry and Packy are honest about what they do. You're a crook, hiding behind his badge and the reputation. You know what, Frankie boy? I'm going to use that. I ever feel the heat on me? I'll call you, and you're going to make shit go away. That cool? Sounds like I don't have a choice. 